really intrigues me is this idea. And I heard it many, many years ago. I'm not even sure of the original source where I heard it. But it goes like this. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Albert Einstein once observed that uh, you have the most fundamental and major decision that you have to make in your life is this. Do I live in a friendly or a hostile universe? Which is it? Is it a universe that is filled with hostility and anger and people wanting to hate each other and people wanting to kill each other? Is that what you see? Because when you see the world that way, that's exactly what you will create for yourself in your life. This is from great scientific minds. And the interesting thing is that this is not just a, a clever play on words, that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's actually a very scientific thing, and I'm going to show you that in just a moment. I'd like you to imagine the following scene. You're in your house. You've got your car keys in your hand. The lights go out. Power failure. You can't see a thing. You stumble around in your living room and you drop your keys. And you look around for a moment and you realize that you're never going to find them in the dark. But you look outside and you notice that the street lights are on. So, in your mind, a light bulb goes off. Hmm. I'm not going to sit around here in the dark and grope around looking for my keys when there's a light on outside. I'm going to go out here under the street light and I'm going to look for my keys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This, is, this makes a lot of sense. So you're out here and you're groping around and you're looking for your keys and you're looking and looking and your neighbor comes along and says, what happened, Wayne? Well, um, I dropped my keys. Oh, I'll help you look for them. And the two of us are now down here looking for our keys. And looking. Finally, he says to me, excuse me, but um, where did you drop your keys? Well, um, I dropped them in the house. He said, you mean to tell me that you dropped your keys in the house and you're looking for them out here in the street light doesn't make any sense. And I said, well, it doesn't make any sense to grope around in the dark when there's light out here. Now you laugh and you think how silly that is, but isn't that exactly what we do when we have a problem, a difficulty, a struggle that is located inside and we're looking for the solution outside, someplace outside of ourselves. It would be like going to the doctor and telling him all of your symptoms. And the doctor says, oh boy, you've got a lot of symptoms. And he starts writing out prescriptions. You need a prescription for this symptom, you need a prescription for that symptom. And finally, he gets this four or five, and you go to walk out, and you say, well, I'd like my prescription. She said, no, 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 I'll give this one to your mother-in-law, and I'll give this one to your neighbor, and I'll give this one to your daughter, and I'll give this one to your father. I mean, you're the one with the struggles and with the difficulties, and giving, expecting somebody else to change, or something outside of you, to get better in order for you to make your life work at this level that I'm calling intention is something you have to really take a hard look at. It's in here.